Hi everybody, this is Indira, Assistant Professor of Institute of Aeronautical Engineering from Department of Mathematics. Already we have uh, done maxima and minima of functions of two variables in the last um, session. Now we are going to extend the maxima and minima of uh, functions of three variables and find out how to find uh, how find out the maxima and minima. Maxima and minima for functions of uh, with conditions are Lagrange's method. Even this method is also applicable. And uh, uh, apart from this method, we can use another method that is uh, um, if I, without uh, doing this Lagrange's method. Even the uh, they, that also you can do it. So first let us uh, see this. Suppose f of x comma y comma z is a function whose maximum and minima we need to find out with conditions uh, with a condition that is pi of x comma y comma z is equal to 0. Right. Now first we need to frame the Lagrange's, uh, uh, Lagrange's auxiliary equation that is uh, f capital F is equal to capital F of x comma y comma z is equal to small f of x comma y comma z plus some constant so constant value into phi of x comma y comma z and the next step we need to find out the fir first uh, the um, first order partial derivatives of capital F with respect to x y f z equal those 3 to 0 equals to 3 to 0 we will get the stationary points x y z and that can be substituted uh, this can be substituted here we in the given function to get maxima and minima and here the only different uh, only um, the demerit of this method is we can't find out whether the fun the point is in the extreme position that means it is it is the maximum or minimum only we can say that the function might be holding the extreme position at these points so this is the difference so apart from this method the another method that you can find it out uh, maximum and minimum for three variables is that suppose f of uh, x comma y comma z is the is the function given right okay is a function given whose maximum minimum we need to find it out and uh, phi of x comma y comma z is the condition then what we have to do we have to get the value of uh, value of z here z can be written as f of x comma y x comma y and substitute uh, in the given function and uh, convert this uh, the triple variable function to double variable f of x comma y and use the double variable method to find out maxima and minima actually that uh, that is a procedure but e, the, uh, Lagrange's method is the simplest method of finding out maxima and minima but the only difference is that there we can get correctly whether the points are ex uh, having the are at the maximum position or at the minimum position but here ex uh, uh, in the Lagrange's method we don't there is no possibility of finding like that right so let us see uh, one example of this method find out the maximum and minimum value of x square plus y square plus z square and given x plus y plus z is equal to 3a right u is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and uh, this is the second function now the, by using the first method as Lagrange's method we need to find the Lagrange's function here so you take uh, u and uh, uh, the uh, phi value here frame the uh, function now what is the function capital F? You will get it as x square plus y square plus z square. Okay, close the bracket plus some um, constant or gamma or lambda, whatever it is, x plus y plus z. Uh, that constant that is a condition that he has given. Now you find out fx. Fx is nothing but partial differentiation of f with respect to x. That is 2x minus plus one uh, that is uh, x, the x differentiation is one the lambda is a constant similarly fi fi is nothing but 2y plus lambda and fz fz is nothing but 2z plus lambda 2z plus lambda so after finding out all these three values after finding out all these three values equal those to zero equal those to zero and find out x comma y comma z and which are nothing but uh, the stationary points which are nothing but stationary points stationary points or critical points you can either call it as critical points both are one at the same critical points now 
Let us see what we are going to get after solving this. I've got the value as x is equal to y is equal to z from those three equations. Because look here, um, um, from the first one, two uh, x plus gamma is equal to zero. So gamma is equal to minus two x, right? From the second one, the gamma is equal to minus two y. Both uh, let us see same. We can equate our h's. So minus two x is equal to minus two y, or x is equal to y. So similarly, the third case. The third one, gamma is equal to minus two z, so we will get x is equal to y is equal to z is a. Now we, I'll make use of the condition here. X is equal to y is equal to z. We got it. Now I got it. Um, I have got a condition from the question that x plus y plus z minus three a is equal to zero. So all these three are equal. So three x minus three a is equal to zero is equal to zero, and uh, a is a. I mean x is equal to a. All the three are equal. Therefore, x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to a is a, a is a stationary points. Now. What is the f minimum or f, f my minimum or maximum? We already we got the stationary points a comma a comma a. Substitute here from the given function a comma a comma a. That comes out to be three a square. So that is how we can find out. Now next let's go for the next equation. Find three positive numbers whose sum is hundred and whose product is maximum. Let us say that x comma y comma z be three positive numbers. X comma y comma z be three positive numbers. Then the function capital F is uh, is given by x plus y plus z is equal to hundred because he has given in the question that the three positive numbers is equal to hundred, right? And next is a uh, phi of x comma y comma z is equal to x y z. Now frame the Lagrange's fu um, uh, function. Frame the Lagrange's function here. Find out the par partial derivatives. So let us find out the partial derivatives of this function. So what is Lagrange's function? Function here, f is equal to f is equal to small f plus lambda into phi, right? So f of x comma y comma z, f of x comma y comma z is equal to the function main function that is x plus y plus z. I mean uh, we uh, z is equal to hundred x plus y plus z, right? Okay, and uh, um, plus 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 lambda into the product of the three functions, the product of whose product is maximum, right? So we'll write it as x into y into z. So x into y into z, right? Okay. Here, sorry, we have to take this uh, function as function as. F F is a function whose maximum and minima we need to find it out, and the condition is nothing but the sum is a nothing but the x plus y plus z is equal to hundred. So we'll substitute here x y z plus uh, lambda into lambda in uh, lambda into x plus y plus z plus minus hundred. This is how we need to take and find out the first order partial derivative f x that is nothing but y z plus that is lambda, the partial differentiation of y f with respect to y, that is nothing but x z plus lambda and partial differentiation of f with respect to z, that is x y plus lambda equal to zero, equal to zero, right? Okay, so here also there is a change here. This is uh, this is nothing but the f value and this is uh, nothing but phi value. We need to write it, right? Okay. So uh, equal to zero. So we are going to get it as x is equal to that is from here. Lambda is equal to minus lambda is equal to minus y z, and here lambda is equal to minus x z. Okay, both of the lambda values equal those two minus y z um, is equal to minus x z z z can cancel minus cancel x is equal to y. So therefore, x is equal to y is equal to z is the Values right now. You take the condition x plus y plus z is equal to hundred. Right, x is equal to y is equal to z. That means that three z is equal to hundred, or z is equal to hundred by three. So I got the three values. Okay, therefore stationary points are. What are the stationary points? X and x y z is equal to hundred by three, hundred by three, hundred by three. So hundred by three, hundred by three, and hundred by three. So this is how we can find out the maximum minima using uh, this uh, 
Lagrange's method for the three variables. Lagrange's method is the easiest method of finding out the maximum and minimum for three variables or else you can either eliminate one of the variable from the condition and convert the three variable question to the three two variable question and also you can find out easily but the the, the, the second method is elaborate method because there we will find out uh, uh, the x y z not only finding out the stationary point but also we are uh, we are going to prove that uh, whether the function is maximum or minimum at those points but in the Lagrange's method there is no scope like that just we are assuming that the function might be holding some maximum or minimum position at that point so that is the main difference of uh, using these two methods but both are applicable so thank you all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates